previously we've done an example on weighted average where we took the cost of our Legos and we did it as a weighted average. So, now we're going to do FIFO, which is first in, first out, which means it's going to go with the physical flow of the inventory. We're assuming that the first goods that were purchased are going to be the first ones out the door. Those are the ones we're selling. Okay? We're going to go back and we're still going to keep Lego guy doing inventory. And we're going to keep our same five red blocks at $10 a piece, five green blocks at $20 a piece, five orange blocks at $30 a piece. Okay? And we want to calculate our cost of goods sold and our Indian inventory for each. So, first of all, under FIFO, we keep the identity. So, we want to figure out for cost of goods sold, okay, we need to find out what the 12 oldest ones are in the cost. So, to figure that out, we're going to say we sold all five of our red blocks. So, five red blocks out the door. Okay, so we've got $50 of cost there. We're also going to say our next five green blocks, those were sold out the door. So the cost of those is going to be five at 20 or $100. Then we have two more that we need to sell. So we have two of our orange ones went out the door. So we're going to have two of these. So we're going to take two at 30, which is $60. Okay, so for our cost of goods sold, we have 200, add our numbers up, we have $210 is our cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is going on the income, as an expense on the income statement. Finally, our Indian inventory, we have three orange ones left. Remember, these are keeping their color identity, so they're keeping their cost identity. So these three, we're going to have three at $30. So our cost of goods I mean, our Indian inventory is $90. So $90 will be going on our balance sheet as Indian inventory. Okay? And that is how we do first in, first out, or FIFO inventory valuation.